At Finland Part 2 we use a service called Google Classroom to set work for students, to allow them to hand work in and to give feedback and marks to them. To use this you can use an app from the Android Play Store or the iOS iTunes Store or you can use the website which is what I'm going to show you today. So you'll need to first find the site which is classroom.google.com you can search for classroom or you can follow a link from the frog page if you're already logged in there and from here you're going to have to enter an email this is your school email which starts with your username I'm logging in as Bart Simpson and then followed by at Finham Park 2 dot co dot uk you will then get this Finham Park login page where you're going to have to put that same email address again 17 Farsim and then a password which is the same password that you log into school computers with and when I sign in it takes me straight to my Google Classroom home page now on here, if you are logged in with your Finham Park account, you will see any groups that you're a part of. For most Key Stage 3 students, that will just be their computing class. If you're logged in with a Google account already, for example, you have a Gmail address, it may not show you these accounts, it may not allow you to do this. You might have to um, sign in again or add a new account here so that you can log in with your school um, Finham Park 2 email address. Now 7A1 here have been set various bits of work. There is homework here due the 17th of October. There's some information there that has been given by the teacher and there's a menu where they can see the task that's been set for them. And then there is the important bit which says your work. Now Bart Simpson hasn't done this work yet and so there's two options that um, he can follow. He could add something that he's already made for example, if there's a file that you've created on your computer, you can do that by clicking on File. And then on a PC, if you select Files from your computer, it will take you to a browser window where you can choose where the file is saved. On a mobile device, it gives you some different options, like take a photo or video. Now this is perfect if you've done something on paper. Um, you could photograph it, upload the photo, and hand that in. The other option is to create something from here. We could create using docs or slides or sheets or drawings and um, that will automatically attach to this homework task and then when it's done you can press the blue button which will change to hand in once work is completed. So logging into Google Classroom you have to make sure you've got your Finham Park 2 account. You need to put your email in two times and your school password, the same one as for the computers, to be able to log in.